there is no Independence Day in Germany, but a day of German unity. While some countries are very proud of their independence, for example when they had been colonized, most Western European countries have never been colonized. And while countries like France, Portugal, Spain, Sweden or Japan have been a country since medieval times, a Germany or Deutsches Reich as a single country only exists since 1871. The many different Germanic tribes led to different kingdoms, princedoms, duchies, and they formed a German confederation or a North German confederation, but still were independent countries, more like the EU today than like the United States. But the German people wanted one Germany, and this desire, together with the Age of Enlightenment, led to a revolution in 1848 foreign united Germany and more democracy. At that point German people thought about a united German Reich under an emperor, but the Prussian king doesn't want to be an emperor by grace of the people, but grace of God. The text of the Lied der Deutschen, what became the national anthem, showed the desire of one united Germany. The first fulfillment came with the proclamation of the German Empire in 1871. While the parliament was involved in the legislation, the foreign affairs were handled by the emperor and his chancellor. At the beginning of the First World War, the Germans were enthusiastic to march united into war that surely would have been won very fast. At the end of the lost war, the emperor abdicted and the politicians had to claim the First Republic, the Weimarer Republic, that officially still was the German Reich. As the German had to convey parts of their country, they still were united as a whole, but also humiliated by getting the only guiltness for the war and in paying enormous reparations. At the time, different movements appeared that wanted a communistic, a democratic, a national way or even a way back to the monarchy. Through the reparations and the world economic crisis, Germany had no money to handle the impact. More and more people followed the promises of the nationalist parties that got supported from the monarchists. After the Second World War, Germany again lost parts of the country and was occupied by the victory states. As it was foreseeable that the Soviet occupied zone would become an own country, the Western German made a Grundgesetz, basic law, rather than a Verfassung, constitution. While the content of the Grundgesetz is actually a constitution, it has not the same name, Verfassung, as this should be only made when Germany would be reunited. When the wall came down in 1989 and Germany was reunited on 3rd of October 1990, there was a discussion to make a constitution, but as the Grundgesetz was very successful, it was kept as a basic for whole Germany. While after the lost war different displaced persons and groups from the former eastern territories of the German Reich wanted to get the territories back, nowadays only a few, mostly neo-Nazis, have thoughts about this and the different associations of displaced persons want to keep the heritage. On the other hand, the Germans were keen to have a community to live in peace with their neighbors. This started with the European coal and steel community in 1951. While the government was for this community, the oppositional SPD was against this, as they were afraid that a community with the Western European countries would be dangerous for a soon reunion. As this community was a success, this community led to the European community and today to the European Union. Still, Germany is a keen partner in this union. Germany is also a member of the NATO, the OSCE, the UN and many more associations. Many cities have twin cities all over the globe. Having this in mind, we have a new view on different aspects. To protect the community, the laws are made for protection. The basic law is made that never ever there could be one person in charge with too much power. The Bundespräsident, the federal president of Germany, the head of state that has to sign any federal law, is elected by the federal convention. 
in this convention the politicians of the Bundestag and Bundesrat together vote for the Bundespräsident. The federal president is a representative of Germany and should inspire the German people but has nearly no political power and should not act in the actual government. This is the opposite of the function of the president in the German Reich. There are protection laws for the community. Every person has the same rights no matter what gender, age, religion, etc. Every time a right may be restrained there has to be a very good reason based on another outright right. So the freedom of opinion and saying what I want ends where the right of honor of a person starts. Every person that wants to sell a good or service has to prove that there will be no harm through the product. In other countries the person that has been harmed has to prove the harm was done by the product. Employees have the right of a regulated future so there is a growing period of notice on the shared contribution into the statutory insurances and the health of an employee is a matter of the employee and the employer. Other unions are also protected like trade unions, political parties, different clubs or also works councils. Having this community the German pays for with taxes, fees and contributions. This is a basic for the social market economy, where everybody could act freely as long as he or she does not harm anyone and where the stronger protects the weaker, for example through higher taxes or contributions. But the Germans like also other more local communities. There are 615,759 clubs in the club register. In Saarland we have 11 clubs per thousand citizens and in Bremen still 5 clubs per thousand citizens. While in the last century mostly sports clubs, marksman confederation, gymnastic clubs or even allotment clubs were founded, this changed in the last decade to boost the clubs or parent associations for kindergartens and other support. Nearly every school and most kindergartens have a support association, a Förderverein. 76% of all schools are public schools and for that cannot take money, so a booster club helps the schools for additional needs like supporting festivals, trips or admission tickets. Some kindergartens are also run by parent associations. But also museums, the voluntary fire brigade or university have boost clubs. About half of the kids and teenagers younger than 19 years are in a sports club. In 2018, 12% of the Germans were in a trade union, 4% in a political party, 12% were in a charity organization where half of them were actively involved. 15% were in music clubs, where two-thirds were actively involved and about a third of Germans were in sports clubs where also two-thirds were active as a player or trainer. Over 37% of the Germans are at least in one club, union or party. Those who have a high school degree are more than the half, 58% at least in one club. To get into contact with Germans, clubs are a very good possibility. Over all parts of Germany there are traditional marksmen confraternities. They often have a story back to the civil guards of different guilds in medieval times. The oldest from 1139 in Gümnich, where some had also to fight like the St. Sebastianus Schützenbruderschaft from 1412 in Geseke that defended the town in the Thirty Years War against other troops. They also had a big role when training the conscripts after leaving the army in the Napoleonic area. Today they often have a yearly festival where they shoot for their new king of marksmen, the Schützenkönig, what is a major event in every village, town or even quarter of a town in bigger cities. Furthermore they act locally, assignments in cleaning areas, helping charity or nature protection organizations. 
in rural areas there are Landjugenden, rural youth associations, that want to bring teenagers and twins together and often make a yearly youth association party. Every village or town has at least one Fußballverein, football club or soccer as the US Americans say. In some areas handball is as popular mainly in Schleswig-Holstein, Ostwestfalen, Lippe, Württemberg, around Magdeburg or Bergisches Land. Often there is local Heimatverein, a club to save the traditions that sometimes run a local museum or makes festivals for local specialities in food or traditional clothing. Sometimes they make guided tours through the city, landscape, ruins or similar route. This is also a special situation in Germany that Germans very often have a relation among traditionally linked fellow countrymen more than about Germany as a whole. Citizens of northern Bavaria define themselves as Franconians, while in the southern part there are Bavarians or Swabians. North Bavaria is divided in the Rhineland, that is typically very humorous, the Ruhrgebiet or Pott with a history in coal and steel industry, the Münsterland with many small and medium sized businesses and agriculture, and Westphalia where the people should be humorless and conservative, what is really not the case. Citizens from Cologne are very proud of their city and have a traditional rivalry with the citizens from Düsseldorf, both in the Rhineland. The people from Gelsenkirchen with the football club Schalke 04 have a rivalry with the club from Dortmund, the BVB, both in the Ruhrgebiet. In Hamburg there is a rivalry between the supporters of the HSV and St. Pauli. While this is a rivalry between communities, the members feel comfortable in their community. So Germans like to come together in a union, a club or just a community of likely-minded people and they like to keep the community. This is also an issue if some people don't like the change. Deutschland also actually means the land of them that speak German, a community through the language. Are you a member of a club? If you miss the connection to other people in Germany, just think about becoming a member of a sports club or a club about music or singing. You will find a connection very fast. Thank you for watching and see you next time.